Hey everyone, it's Steve from Plot 42. Just a quick walk around. And here it is, Plot 42. Can't believe it's September and the weather's soon changed. Yesterday it wasn't too bad. Today it's bloody freezing. It's been raining. So, quick walk around, so not much has changed. So, a bit of a compost area there. So, I still haven't got the gravel for this area, but we'll be getting it. We'll be the first to know. Same with strawberry bed. From last time I planted it, doing alright. Real bad. I say, I think I said last time, I've been told that we can't use it. But I've also been told also just leave them, let the stoked and leaves rot down and it'll feed the root, roots for next year. So I'm sure probably will do, just leave it. I mean, the good thing about we raining, so it did not have to make the soil look nice. Felt good over there. Quick look around the netting. And the cabbages, some of them might survive. The sprouts, and they've got bloody twigs, in it. and there are the cump culprits there. Little shits. There are all of them with sprouts, the cabbages. They've took on me swede. The swede's right underneath. Just looks a massive twigs again. A few bit of spinach down there, bits and bobs, not much. I don't think it's changed from last time I did a little video. Same two rows of main crop there, desiree. They're on me, on me first and second are up. There's another two rows of main crop there, but they're all died back, so I'll, I'll get them took up. Beetroot in here, still got some beetroot going. Sweet corns over there. I mean, the odd sweet corn I've took has been alright, and I get the odd one where it's a bit dry or I've cut over cooked it. So I've still got a few marrows down there and courgettes, which will take some more beetroot. I will have to do the beetroot wine again. I did it, did, did a week, and it didn't taste very good, it didn't, didn't go very good, so I just binned it. Uh, I've got about half a dozen onions left there to pick up. These onions here, they're rotten, so they're no good. Better start over there digging the other day. Absolutely fed up when I started digging. I might have to come tomorrow and finish it off. Beans have gone now. I'll let them just rot down. It's past that dug over. So, not much really. So, yeah, the polytunnel then. It's all dying back in here. Um, see if you can see the button up around here somewhere. There it is, there's one. Little tomato plants that doing very good. Pepper plants. Doing all right. Tomatoes in there. Right. Peppers there. And the butternut squash. I'm not too sure what size. You're supposed to take them. Let's have a quick read up. That's my size. We come up around here. Yeah, the bath's looking a bit low now. My rhubarb there, so I planted that last year. You'll see famous wheat to the strawberry bed. In the pond area. In the back area again, there's enough change around here. There's a few onions down there drying out, some, some drying underneath there. Just walked into the wheelbarrow. Some tomatoes there in the, in the old compost bin. Some peppers, <laughs> compost is getting up nicely. A bit flat, them onions. Quick look in the shed. I haven't had it out, but it looks like a bomb did it. I don't know if you can see. I'm taking to take home some peas there. Oh, you can't see. And there's my onions hanging up. I'll take them home and put them in bags once they dry out a bit more. Quick look in the greenhouse. Uh, tomatoes. There's still got quite a few green ones. I think now, the, now it's getting a bit cooler. I'll start closing the doors. The peppers are still, chili peppers are still doing alright. Red ones. Well, peppers on it. I'll harvest some of them. Cucumbers. Ooh, they're on the way out. I've got a bit of anemic one here. 
one grown up here. Let me um, some fuel onions, put a bit in there. Still drying out in here. Some there, some there. <coughs> Even another one there. A few more tomatoes, peppers. Peppers, more peppers. Got another shed. Got a greenhouse full of peppers. More peppers in there. On there. A few of the ones that have gone off. These are the gherkins. I ain't got enough of them to take over. It's about the right size. And there's, there's, some, there's some fattening up to that size. And they are, I can still pickle them. If you have them. Put a couple in there. Watch, I'll leave them till tomorrow and they'll be. Be fat as a cucumber, a few tomatoes there. But anyway, that's a quick walk around. So, like I said, nothing's changed much. So, obviously, they'll be getting less and less and less on these video walks at the end of the year. But we'll still have to do them anyway. Thanks for viewing, and I'll catch you later on. Bye bye.